Okay guys, I just got the new EGR ball and as you can see this one moves really smooth all right compared to the old one we have it in here this is the old one and if you can see if i push it nothing happened it has to move with your fingers all right okay so in the kit comes in this big box in here you can see, you can see the box in there and in the kit comes all the balls we're gonna need. We have the gaskets, two gaskets. And this is good because now I can continue doing this job. So I'm gonna show you later how it looks. The EGR is already installed, guys. So as you can see here, I already use all the balls that comes with the kit to install it and i already did the test to make sure everything works so to, that way i'm pretty sure i don't have nothing to remove after i'm done with this truck so for to check it out the this part the that part you need navistar engine diagnostic and i wish i can show you guys but it's really noisy especially because this truck when you turn on the ignition since there's no air on the tanks it makes a lot of noise but i can assure you everything works if you are planning to remove this make sure all these wires are fine the wires that go directly to the EGR okay make sure everything is working fine because if something if there is something you forget it's gonna give you a hard time to remove everything again so uh, i'm gonna show you next how it looks after i put it everything back At this point, everything looks okay. The engine is running. So as you can see, the EGR is already installed. Everything with the EGR cooler pipe, right? You see all the way down there. I already replaced the O-rings in the EGR cooler pipe. Uh, I installed the heat shield, as you can see. Everything is really smooth. And as you can see down there, now i had to check it out down there because i had to turn on the engine without the stick shift on it and we're gonna take a look around the computer to see if everything is really okay and as you can see in the readings the ER valve right now is at 96 percent which is really good and as you see i Hit the gas and it change so it means it's working properly with the engine running this is the good thing about this kind of er because you can check with the computer how everything is working since it has a position sensor and now as you can see it's time to put everything back in place it's just a big mess around here you see shifter rolling there and a lot of plastic parts on the back so 
we'll see what happened next guys so this is the last update from the EGR valve replacement on the Max Force 13 engine and as you can see there is no check engine light anymore showing up in the screen in the dashboard as you can see it has the same mileage so that way you're gonna know it's the same truck I've been working on it and I have my diagnostic tool here as you can see there is no DTC uh, fault active right now and let's take a closer look you see where it says EGR control right it says 4 and 4% 4 that's the way it should be now let's talk about how much money it costs you are talking about easily around 2500 or 2500 and this job is quite expensive as you can see everything is on its place now everything you see remember in my previous videos how it looks all messy here everything is in place okay nice and nice and you see the seat is by on this place like too so this is my thing if you were planning to buy this truck think twice because in the long run if you don't save up enough money to invest you will have troubles trying to fix this truck so this is uh my last video about this topic thanks everybody who has been watching since the beginning and next time we'll see what else we have to take apart thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye